Hey everyone, and welcome to this video on how to connect to your FastSoS website FTP space using FileZilla. So to start, I'm going to open up FileZilla, and I'm going to start opening new connections. So I'm going to go File and Site Manager. You can do a quick connect where you just enter your details here and click quick connect, but you're going to have to enter your details every single time you want to connect then. So if you're going to be connecting regularly, it's a good idea to enter the site in the site manager. So we're in here now and I'm going to click new site and the host is ftp.yourdomainname, which should work. But if you're using uh, external DNS, uh, external name servers, or for whatever reason it doesn't connect, you can use the IP address, which is available in your FastSafe control panel. So in the package overview, I'm connecting to fastsafewebinars.com here. If we go to our file management area, there will be an IP address that you can use to connect as well, and that will be that will work exactly the same. So we can use that as well if we want to which I'll just enter in there. So port will be 21, protocol will be file transfer protocol and encryption will be uh, only use plain FTP. A logon type will be normal and the user is just your domain name. So fast hosts webinars in my example. And then your password will be the FTP password that you've set. And if you haven't set a password yet, again, you can just go back to this area and change your password here if you need to. And now if we go over to the advanced tab, this little bit's uh, completely optional, so you don't have to do it. So the default local directory will be the folder that automatically opens in this left-hand pane every time you connect. So it's a good idea to choose the folder that, you, uh, that all your website fo files are going to be stored in. So if we go to my website folder, which is that one, and I'm going to select that folder there and this that will what will happen in when I connect that's going to be what's displayed here and the default remote directory again completely optional but htdocs is where you're going to be uploading all your website files to so you can go can do that completely optional again you don't have to do that transfer settings we want to use passive and that is it so hopefully now if we can connect there we go we've logged in and as you can see that folder has opened by default in the left pane and the htdocs folder has opened by default in the right just because we did that optional step and like i say if you're connecting a lot it just saves you a few sort of a probably quite a long time over the period of your website's life and if you do want to transfer any files really easy we literally just drag it and drop it over there ah, really easy and that's all there is to it so now you can start uploading your website files thanks very much for watching goodbye for now